Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to use the web request ChatGPT plugin that you can use to scrape Google search results, access any kind of website links and summarize web pages or Wikipedia pages or GitHub pages and or anything else like that. Right before I would show you an actual example on how to use the web request ChatGPT plugin, I just want to let you know that I have a full tutorial on how this plugin works. So if you want to learn about some of the best use cases of the web request ChatGPT plugin, or you want to check out some of the best prompts you can use the web request chat GPT plugin with, make sure to check out this article. I will link it in the description below. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. But now let's see how to use the web requests ChatGPT plugin. So before you would be able to use the web requests plugin, you have to make sure that you have enabled the plugins feature in your ChatGPT account. And to be able to do that, you have to have a ChatGPT Plus subscription. If you don't know how to enable plugins, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. But once plugins are enabled in your account, all you have to do is click on new chat on the top left corner and select GPT-4 from the model selector because by default GPT-3.5 is selected. Then you have to click on this down arrow and if the web requests ChatGPT plugin is not installed, you're not going to see in this uh, plugin list here. Then you have to scroll down and click on plugin store and install the plugin. But as you can see, I've already done that, so it's installed for me. All I have to do is enable the plugin. So you can enable the web request ChatGPT plugin as well by checking the checkbox next to the name of the plugin. All right, so as I mentioned, you can use the web request ChatGPT plugin to scrape the Google search results, or you can just simply scrape one web page. So basically, this is an alternative to the Browse with Bing ChatGPT plugin, which is the default web browsing model in ChatGPT. But if you're not happy with that, you can use the web requests plugin. And in this example, let's say we want to get a summary of this Investopedia article about the best accounting software for small businesses, where you can see they have reviewed and compared a ton of business accounting software, and they basically tell you which should you buy based on your preferences. So let's say we want to get a summary of this article. So all we have to do is copy the URL of this article, then use a prompt something like this. So give me a summary of this article in bullet points. And as you can see, I also added the URL. And as the plugin is already enabled, all we have to do is click on send message here. And as you can see, ChatGPT has made four requests towards the web request ChatGPT plugin. This is because if you open these requests up, you can see that it has scraped everything on the page. So not just the contents, as you can see, it has also scraped all the links on the page. But as you can see here, it has scraped the content of the web page as well. So this shows that you cannot only get summaries of web pages, but basically you can use the web request ChatGPT plugin to scrape certain information from web pages. So let's say you want to scrape all outgoing links on this page, you could do that. As you can see, it has scraped everything on this page. All right, but based on the output from the web request ChatGPT plugin, ChatGPT was able to give us a summary of this article on the best accounting softwares for small businesses. And as you can read here, this is the summary we get. I'm not going to read the complete summary because it's quite long because it was a quite long article as well. But as you can see, it will give you the main points in bullet points based on our request. So as I mentioned, the web request ChatGPT plugin is a very versatile ChatGPT plugin. So you can use it also for scraping Wikipedia or Google search results. If you want to learn more about other ChatGPT plugins that can be used for scraping or accessing links on the internet or for any other use cases, I have ChatGPT plugin tutorials that can be used for finance, marketing, business, productivity, cryptocurrencies, scientific research, and more. Make sure to check the plugin tutorials on my YouTube channel and more are coming up. 
up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.